from even the greatest of horrors, irony is seldom absent. This is a story of love that ended in tragic irony. Our story begins in 1862, during the American Civil War. The battle between the Union and the breakaway Confederacy had been raging for some long, bloody months. During one particularly savage battle, where the Confederates are defeated and routed, a small number decide to surrender to their Union enemies. The soldiers were then taken prisoner and quickly transferred to the feared Fort Warren that occupies an island in Boston Bay. Upon the island, which actually treated them much better than they expected, the soldiers petitioned their loved ones to seek their release. One such petition is that of Officer Lanier. He began writing numerous letters to his wife Melanie. Each letter became more and more desperate for help in pressuring the authorities to seek his release. Mrs. Lanier was so moved by the letters that she began her desperate voyage to free her husband. She set out from her home in Georgia to the city of Hull in Massachusetts. While there, she concocted a disguise. She would dress as a man in order to avoid suspicion. On the fateful night, she hired a boat along with some Confederate sympathizers. And armed with an old flintlock pistol and a pickaxe handle, they rowed her boat across the choppy waters of the Boston Bay. She awaited the signal that she and her husband had agreed upon. His humming of a southern tune. This led her to the cell he was being held in. With the help of the others, Mrs. Lanier managed to free her husband. She handed him the firearm and they made their escape from the fort. However, the joyous reunion would be short-lived, as upon their attempted exit, the party was discovered. There was a struggle between Officer Lanier and a Union soldier. The primitive weapon that Mrs. Lanier had brought with her on that desperate night went off and mortally wounded her dear husband. The fort was alerted to the attempted jailbreak and more soldiers arrived. Mrs. Lanier was dragged away while her husband slowly died on the cold stone floor. She was quickly tried and the sentence passed was that of hanging. Because she was a woman, the garrison permitted her one request. She wished to be hanged wearing female clothes and not the disguise she had arrived in. The fort attempted to satisfy this demand, but were unable to, and instead she was hanged in a long black robe. It is said that, to this day, if you wander around the perimeter of Fort Warren during twilight, you may see her ghost, a woman in black, looking for a way to rescue her dear dead husband. Why not subscribe to our YouTube channel for more spooky videos?